to you. When you look at the momentum, today is the last polling day. There is this assumption that the Dauphin is ready to arrive at the Elysee Palace. Does Le Pen have any chance of winning on Sunday, or is that a presumptive uh, statement? Uh, it's a fact, isn't it? Well, Manus, if you look at the polls, you're absolutely right. It's almost impossible for Marine Le Pen at this point uh, to become president of France. It's about a 20 to 25 difference. And so Mr. Macron, who markets certainly believe will be the next president of France, is about 60 to 63, 64 percent by certain polls in terms of popularity. Of course, Manus, it's all about voter turnout, right? So this is one thing that all the French are talking about, is in the past, I think for the last 60 years, in the second round of the French presidential election, because of how their system works, it's more people that go and vote than in the first round. So we had about 78 percent turnouts for the first round two Sundays ago. And this time around, it looks like we may lose voter turnout so that it would drop by five to six points, something that has not been seen since 1969. So, Francine, good morning. Uh, it turned out clearly critical then in Anna. this vote. Uh, tell me a little bit about where we go from here if Macron does win. A lot of people want to talk to us about seats in Parliament and how he goes about building um, a, a body and a force that can, that can help him lead. Yeah, and this exactly, Anna, is what people are more worried about. If you take, I guess, a longer-term picture, so markets, a sigh of relief, uh, the Sunday where uh, the two uh, French presidential candidates for the second runoff were announced. But now you have to think of yourself, well, you have two parties, En Marche, which is this movement that Macron uh, founded about 12 months ago, and the Front National, if he becomes president, like is widely expected, how does he govern? We go then onto the legislatives, where the French vote for who basically goes to parliament and therefore gives the president a majority of not to push through reforms. And that happens on June 11th and June 18th. Now, because his party, which, which is a movement, as he says, is not fully fledged, then people are wondering whether what he's promised, the reforms, the pro-market, liberal, uh, kind of very Anglo-Saxon type of reforms that he's promised can really be pushed through if he doesn't have a majority or at least if he doesn't have a big presence. And this, Anna and Manus, is why it will be very crucial to see by what margin President Macron votes by, if indeed he becomes president, like is widely expected.